Hello, my name is Jan Rösler with the SMA Solar Academy. And in this tech tip, we will demonstrate using Sunny Portal powered by NXOS for troubleshooting. Sunny Portal powered by NXOS is the update to the world's largest PV monitoring platform. There are several features that can be very useful for troubleshooting plant issues in a portfolio. In this video, four topics will be covered. Sorting on status, configuring notifications, enabling inverter comparisons, and creating groups. For this video, we assume the user has already created an account and registered multiple plants successfully to this account. For more information on basic operation of NXOS Sunny Portal, please consult the user manual. The first topic is sorting the plant list by status. When a user is at the home screen of their account, selecting status list from the select system pulldown will cause the plant list to appear in the main window. Clicking on the label of the status column causes an up arrow to appear to the right of status. The plant list is sorted in order of faults, then plants with no issues, then warnings. Note that plants with communication faults are relegated to the bottom of the list as no status is available from the plant. Clicking on the error will flip the sort order to show communication faults at the top of the list. The second topic is configuring notifications. From the account home screen choose a particular plant. Under the configuration menu on the left select notifications from the pop-up menu. In the notification window that appears, select the vertical ellipses at the far right to see the report options. To enable an event report, choose Event Report from the list. A default settings event report is created and activated. To customize the settings of the report, select the wheel icon at the right. The event report configuration window will appear. The name can be chosen by editing the designation field. The report can be sent daily, the default, or hourly by selection in the cycle window. In the configuration section, just down here, the types of events to include in the report can be chosen. It is strongly recommended not to select information. If empty reports should not be sent, leave the only reports with events checkbox selected. That one down here. The email of the account holder is the default recipient of the report. If others should also receive the report, select Add New Email in the Email section. And enter the new recipient's email in the empty field that appears. When done configuring the report, select Save at the bottom right. The report window will show the updated report information. The third topic is enabling inverter comparison. In a plant with multiple inverters, inverter comparison can be enabled. From the plant dashboard select the configuration icon and then choose system monitoring from the menu that appears. To enable inverter comparison, slide the button in the inverter comparison section to the right. It should turn blue and additional fields should appear immediately below the slider. The tolerance can be adjusted from 20% up or down. This tolerance refers to the specific yield of any one of the inverters compared to the mean of all the other inverters. To change the tolerance, adjust the value in the box and then click save at the bottom right of the window to store the change. If there are portions of a single plant where the specific yield of those inverters will normally be different from the remaining devices, sections with a plant can be created and different tolerances for each section set. Note that sections also allow the same tolerance to be used where sections have greatly different specific yields expected. The fourth topic is creating groups. From the account home screen select configuration menu on the left and then choose System Groups from the menu that appears. To create a group, click on the plus icon on the right in the System Group window. The Add System Group pop-up will open. 
Enter a name and description for the group and select the plants to be included in the group from the list that appears in the Systems tab at the bottom of the window. Users can be added to all plants within a group using the Member tabs. Click the plus icon and enter the email and select the right level for the new user. Then click on Add to add them to the group. Click Save at the bottom when done to create the group. Once the group has been created, notifications can be configured. From the Account Home screen, select the group. Click on the Configuration icon at the left and select Notifications. Notifications are created in the same way as for a single plant, as was covered in Section 2 of this video. We hope you have enjoyed learning about Annex OS Sunny Portal. If you would like to learn more, please visit the Annex OS product page on sma-america.com or sma.de. My name is Jan Rössler from the Solar Academy. Thank you for joining us today.